In today's fight news, we start off with your UFC Vegas 89 results. At heavyweight, Mick Parkin defeats Mohamed Usman by a unanimous decision. At flyweight, Andre Lima defeats Igor Severino by disqualification due to a bite on the arm in the second round by Severino. Severino was promptly cut by the UFC right afterwards. At women's bantamweight, Daria Zelenzniakova defeats Monse Rendon by a unanimous decision. At featherweight, Yarno Ahrens defeats Steven Wynn via unanimous decision, taking home fight of the night bonus. At bantamweight, Miles Johns defeats Cody Gibson via unanimous decision. At featherweight, Julian Arosa defeats Ricardo Ramos via submission with a guillotine choke in round one. At lightweight, Trey Ogden defeats Kurt Holobaugh via unanimous decision. Now on to the main card, we have Fernando Padilla defeating Luis Pajuelo via submission with a darse choke in round one, earning performance of the night bonus. Also at featherweight, Yusuf Zalal defeats Billy Quarantillo via submission with a rear naked choke in round two. At bantamweight, Peyton Talbot defeats Cameron Simon via TKO in round two, earning performance of the night bonus. And at middleweight, Edmund Shabazian defeats AJ Dobson by KO in the first round. At heavyweight, Carl Williams gets a unanimous decision over Justin Taffa. And for the main event, Rose Thug Nama Yunez defeats Amanda Rebus by a unanimous decision. After her big main event win, Rose Nama Yunez called out Macy Barber as a possible future opponent. At the post-fight press conference, UFC President Dana White had this to say about Igor Severino's disqualification loss for biting his opponent. The worst thing you can do is bite your opponent. Now you get cut and lose the biggest opportunity of your life. Not to mention, he's going to have real problems with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Not long after the incident, Andre Lima went and got a tattoo of the bite mark in which Dana White posted on his Instagram, I was going to give him 25K, now I'm going to give him 50K. This is awesome. When asked about a potential matchup with bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley, flyweight champion Alexander Pantoja had this to say, I find his reach when I trained with O'Malley. It's not a big problem for me. Maybe after the second title defense, I'm very open for that opportunity. But just for O'Malley, I don't want to go through the bantamweights and fight with some Umar Nurmagomedov. Speaking of the bantamweight champ O'Malley, he had this to say on Michael Bisbing's Believe You Me podcast. I'm not even really close to where I'm going to be. I've said it since before I got in the UFC. I'm going to be bigger than Conor McGregor. While on a recent episode of The Schmo, former middleweight champion Sean Strickland had a few choice words for Jake Paul in regards to his upcoming matchup with Mike Tyson. Jake Paul, you're a disgrace of a man. You are the epitome of weakness. You are the scum of the earth. The fact that you even have a platform or anything of that nature is a slight on society. You truly make me effing disgusted. And if I ever encounter you in real life, I hope that I just don't lose my sh and go to prison. When asked why he took his upcoming fight with BMF champion Justin Gaethje, Holloway had this to say on his YouTube channel. I thought that if Taporia was to beat Volk in any way, Volk gets a direct rematch. Volk did enough work to earn himself a direct rematch. And then with the Justin Gaethje situation, who knew that Charles Oliveira was going to get a bad cut and Islam Makachev couldn't turn around and fight? When asked about a possible matchup with Michael Benham Page, top 10 welterweight contender Ian Machado Gary had this to say to Sky Sports. I want to be the best in the world, and unless your number is higher than mine, I'm not interested. <laughs>